first task it's over to you for the, for the headlines. OK. Um, first up, we have an article from the Daily Telegraph, uh, okay. which is about petrol price rigged for a decade. OK. <laughs> so this is this is the claim, isn't it? They're, they're looking into. Yeah, they're claiming that um, motorists have paid thousands too much for petrol over the past decade. So that's been going on for a while. Yeah, I mean, I think we've all felt we've probably paid too much. <laughs> Most of us probably like to pay absolutely nothing. Mm -hmm. But this is slightly more sinister. The claims, which is that it's not as complicated as, as the libel. interest rate scandal, but there, there, there's the body that looks at prices. The suggestion is they're artificially ramping up demand mm. uh, in order to make the price higher. Yeah, that they've manipulated the price. Unbelievable. They've all got together, haven't they? Yeah. All the different oil companies. BP and yeah. Shell, I Allegedly. think, are the ones Allegedly. Allegedly doing yes. this. Um, mm. Anyway, it's being investigated, so you never know whether we'll see a radical drop at the pumps. I somehow doubt it. Will we get free petrol for a year? No free think? petrol, <laughs> no. 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 Well, so we, should Mind, on, we should all be on electric, yeah. You don't pay any pe yeah. anything for petrol in Australia, do you? Who told you that? Well, it's very cheap, though. No. Is it not? No, what do you pay? it's really expensive. $1.38.40 a litre. So is that four thirty five five dollars dollars so, 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 It is cheaper than us. It's a pound. Is it? It's a, it's a, it's, yeah. It's a little a, bit cheaper A tank will get you about 500 k's in, like, a standard kind of car. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's about, about the same. It's about the same. Yeah. Uh, OK, and next one, what else have you got? Ah, OK, <laughs> I have. Um, so the BBC News, this is an online one, I think. Yeah. Uh, students are complaining of poor value for money um, courses. So it's about <laughs> the prices of university being raised dramatically. That's right, it's £9,000 a year now. Yeah. What do you have to pay in Australia to go to uni? Well, I'm still paying for my uni fees. <laughs> so it's the, you have the same system over there? Well, we have, I don't know if it's the same here, but it's a system where you get interest and they give you a yeah. loan yeah, yeah, and you pay yeah. kind of a small amount of interest. Yeah. And, and you have yet to pay yours off. Yes, yeah, Big Neighbours star. Act, yeah. <laughs> Actors don't get paid very it, it, well. It, this, this story will really, uh, I mean, it really challenged my... I, I saw my old professor a couple of years back, in fact, when, just after uh, tuition fees had been first introduced, so a fair, fair while back, and he said, back when I was a student and I went in for free on a full grant, that, that, that the, uh, the lecturers could pretty much do whatever they liked. But now that students pay, they've been demanding, when are we going to do this, when are we going to do that? Uh, There's much more pressure. And I can understand that if you're paying, say, £9,000 a year mm -hmm. and you don't feel at the end of that year that you have got what it was you were expecting for your money, you're going to complain. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's a business. If you're, if you're paying, they need to treat it like a business yes. and yeah. provide for the yeah. customers. Yeah. It'd be very interesting to see what happens. I mean, it's all very well for the students to, to complain. The students are revolting. Mm. But will anything actually change? I'm not so sure. I'm not sure, sure. OK, uh, let's go on to your next one. Next up. Um, oh, this one's really interesting. So it's um, saying, basically, um, it, the title is How We Start Being Fattest at Four, and it's saying how four-year-olds start judging overweight children um, at that age as being less likeable than kids that are... You know, fit and healthy, I guess. Seems quite young. What do you reckon, Daniel? Is that? I think that's a lot to do with parenting. Mm. Do you think Does it's true? Parents judge, uh, speak openly about things and are judgmental in front of their children. Everything comes from the parents. Mm. It, so you think it's four, a four year old? Because I was told that's wrong. kids don't see the differences. They, they don't, don't see. Children don't care. They're so it's... playing with like, the, colours, the interesting... sizes, anything. They just want to play. The interesting it's part is that they've also done the study around a disabled child and they've found that the same discrimination doesn't come with a disabled child um, mm. as much as with an overweight child. Which is interesting. I at first thought maybe it was something primal that, you know, kids yeah, yeah, kind of yeah, latch yeah. onto the fittest and, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But... As opposed to the one with all the food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, it's, mm. it's interesting. I take the point, I think it's a really, uh, really in, important note to, to, mm. to add to it, is, is that the disability doesn't register, which mm. I think backs up your point, doesn't it? Yeah. It comes yeah, from mum and Yeah, parents are saying, you know, oh, yeah. you need to look at the fat kid, look at the fat kid, look at the fat kid, or their fat Yeah. But why should we do that way. to people? Because yeah. then we just give people a, you know, a problem yeah. and a phobia about stuff as they go through their life and it Absolutely. just ruins their life from a young age. Absolutely. This is an innocence thing. We need to keep children as innocent as possible for, you know, as long as possible. Mm -hmm. OK. Uh, next one. Next up, we have um, a 66-year-old man who was trampled as he was walking a dog through oh, no. um, a, a herd of cows, is that what they're called? Yeah, yeah. And this is from The Sun. Um, so, yeah, he, he went into hospital with a collapsed lung and broken wow. ribs and, and then passed away. You have a few of these uh, terrible tragedies every year. It's, it says, uh, yeah, four times in five years, so it's a pretty common yeah. occurrence. Well, you say, you say, I mean, 
You know, it makes headlines. Uh, I mean, I, I, I think it's 11 people a year are, are killed putting their trousers on. Um, you know, four, oh, four deaths over True. five years is actually very, very rare. Mm. Um, but it seems like something that's that could be tragic. easily prevented, though, well, with the right signage and awareness. Yeah. So I, I, when I do my fishing, I've had close encounters with cows, and and, 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 and sometimes they can be quite intimidating. I mean, Mrs. Wright hates them. I don't know what you can do. It's open countryside if you're, if you're roaming paths, around. Public footpaths for a lot of farmland. Yeah. What kills well. you with the trousers? The zipper? It's people falling over. People falling over and cracking their heads. No, yeah. Yeah. seriously. It's about eleven per year putting their trousers on. It's about the same doing underpants. It's uh, I you know, love we think this of these things as incredibly rare. So much. Many more people are killed. Many, many. More people are killed oh, by their really? pants than killed by really cows. I should be really careful how I well, put my trousers on. Uh, I'm surprised you're not aware. Just don't wear pants, please. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. don't, don't wear any pants. Don't wear any pants. Don't wear any pants. <laughs> there is, <laughs> there is that, I suppose. <laughs> uh, okay. Anyway, a horrible story. A horrible story. But uh, another one for you. Next one last up. one. Um, so this one is from the, the Independent, and the title is "Red Handed: Russia Catches U.S. Spy on a Recruitment Mission." <laughs> um, and Tell me that's not his wig in the top I, right hand picture. I don't know. If you've got... <laughs> It is his wig. It looks like he's trying to disguise as Eminem or How something. How on earth did they realise that was a wig, I wonder? And that's him being busted at the airport, is it? <laughs> so what's the story here? This is a real-life James Blonde. James <laughs> <laughs> Blonde. I nicked it from the papers. <laughs> this is a blonde wig, a bundle of cash and a printed A4 letter offering $1 million for cooperation. And he, he, was a, he is allegedly a British spy and the Russians mm. have, have nabbed him, despite yeah. his cunning disguise. Yeah. Oh. No, a US spy. Oh, is that American spy? American okay. spy from the CIA. OK, well, that maybe that explains everything. <laughs> dear, dear, dear. I just can't believe that. I can't... I mean, you just look at it, you think this is just a bad joke with that wig. Yeah, who would believe that? And with an A4 letter. <laughs> yeah, can you spy? Teacher, I'm a spy. <laughs> it's very Johnny English. <laughs> yeah, it really is. Yeah. It really is. The wig's fantastic. Oh. Anyway, uh, Nice to done, Saskia. Uh, what Thank have you got you. for us, Biggins? Ridiculous. A light-hearted story, but actually one oh, of my favourites. Oh, thank goodness you've got a light-hearted story. Panland have dropped their prices to 97p. I'm so, so happy about that. Uh, I love a bit of Panland. I can often be found in Panland. I love Panland. <laughs> yep. So will it be called 97p land? I don't know, but they're trying to do it to outdo their rivals, the 97p Well, because we're achieving it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but currently we have... Uh, we have um, Poundland has introduced a 97p standard price in East Ham and two in the West Midlands. So if you live in them areas, get down there and get a bargain. Because <laughs> I'll be oh, going on my way. Poundland in Australia. No, a dollar land. Dollar land. A dollar land. A dollar land. A dollar land. You could buy everything under dollar a pound. Store. Oh, we call a it a two-dollar shop. Oh, two-dollar oh, shop. Yeah. Yeah. Very expensive. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's me. Uh, great papers. Well done, guys. Well done.